you've probably read or heard the news about a dairy technology that's new to Ohio, robotic milking machines. For some time, robots have been welding and assembling cars at Honda. Now, some have gone country, milking cows on a few Ohio farms. These robotic milking systems allow each cow to let her milk down as often as she feels the need, up to six times daily, anytime, day or night. The robot identifies each cow by scanning her tag, then serves her a tasty grain mix. Before attaching the milker, the robotic arm brushes and sanitizes her teats. When the system detects infection or antibiotics in a cow's milk, it diverts it from the bulk tank, keeping it out of the milk supply. This may sound new and space age, but robots have been milking cows in the Netherlands for well over 10 years. Robots now milk 20% of Dutch cows. The systems have taken off in Europe because inexpensive labor is in short supply. The Dutch are even further ahead of us than that. Get this, they plan to develop the world's first rabbit dairy. Don't look at me like that, it's true, a rabbit dairy. The Dutch company Farming has applied for a license to develop a 1,000 head herd of transgenic or genetically modified rabbits. But they don't intend to compete against bovine dairies. Instead, they plan to milk the rabbits for a protein that prevents a genetic human disease that causes spontaneous painful swelling around major blood vessels. It asphyxiates victims when the swelling occurs around the throat. This protein, the C1 inhibitor, can be extracted from human donors' blood, but the process is expensive and prone to spreading viruses, and it doesn't yield a large enough supply. So Dutch scientists plan to bring on the bunnies. Amazing! But when you come to think of it, milk rabbits would have some real disadvantages over cows. First, a herd of rabbits would take up far less space and resources. No need for a huge double 48 herringbone parlor. Second, rabbits have the distinct advantage over cows when it comes to fertility. Have you ever met a rabbit that had trouble breeding? On the other hand, cows seem to conspire against dairymen at every turn, challenging efforts to assure a steady, dependable flow of calving and milk. And who knows? If rabbit dairies took off in Ohio, we could end up with a new exponentially growing revenue stream to solve our state government's financial woes by way of a rabbit tax. And then if I could find a way to genetically modify the wild rabbits that rob our garden in the summer and our cat's food dish in the off season, I might be able to put those critters to good use for the benefit of humankind. That is, after I train them to the tiny robotic milking system, I'll set up alongside the lettuce. Well, time to get back to work. Down the Road is brought to you in part by Prince Agra, makers of Omnigen AF, advancing animal nutrition for healthy animals. And Woodruff Enterprise of Springfield, Ohio, 